let's talk a little bit about the threat of Hass. Are they Hass? Hass? Who are they? I've never heard about them. There's just this other little American team, you know. There is an American team? I think so, yeah. Did you know? Haas is a team that still hasn't secured a driver for 2023 and beyond. Although many believe that with Mick's first career points in Silverstone and in Austria, the seat will be his. Seems like the young German has lost it and he'll likely cut ties with the Ferrari Academy as well. What's even more interesting is that apart from Giovinazzi, Haas is considering signing another driver with more experience, such as Nico Hülkenberg. The Hulk is one of the most likeable characters on the grid, and F1 fans are cheering for his return. So, if you want to find out how realistic the chances for him to make a return to the sport are, stick around with us. Nico has raced for Aston Martin in 2022 in two races, and although he didn't finish well in both of them, he was able to outperform Stroll in one of them. And that was what I was looking for, you know, from today to just, you know, build some confidence in the car and, and you know, kind of get comfortable as much as I can and I think I've, I've achieved that. Um, but in that sense, you know, Friday obviously is practice, you just drive around on your own, you've got reasonably fresh tyres, so from that respect it's probably the easiest of days from the weekend. There are certain situations on the grid that are more or less favouring Nico when it comes to securing an F1 seat, and that is the fact that Haas is looking for an experienced driver that is willing to take a huge pay cut, or at least agree to drive for a smaller amount of money. Just because the team isn't in the perfect financial situation after the 2020 and 2021 season. In 2022, it's likely that they'll lose the P7 spot in the Constructors' Championship to Alpha Tauri, which is something that will take an additional toll on the rewards that the team is due to harvesting at the end of the season, which is one reason more why they won't give as much money as you'd expect to their next driver. According to Steiner, such a driver can be found in Ricardo, but it's very unlikely that the Aussie will drive in Haas due to the fact that he'll receive $15 million in buyout terms from McLaren. Therefore, Haas will have to look in another direction, which is most likely to be either Giovinazzi or Hülkenberg. The Italian driver has been granted two free practice sessions with Haas, and although all of us thought that this is a move that is preparing him for the Haas seat, Steiner downplayed all of our thoughts and said, People think too deeply into it. It was more that Ferrari asked us to run their reserve driver. It was not. Now we need to test him and take a conclusion out of this. He did a very good job coming in. He's never driven this regulation car. He was on the ball immediately. He was very good. It's good to see that the car is good because if somebody who hasn't been in the car for a year does these times, the car cannot be too bad," said Steiner. Now, although he tried to downplay the chances of Giovinazzi being in the Haas seat from 2023 and beyond, it's evident that the Italian is one of the favourites alongside Hülkenberg. When he was asked about his future, Giovinazzi said that it would be a dream coming true to make a comeback in F1 and prove that he's still made out of F1 material. We saw that this year we had a really silly season with the driver market and everything, and I don't know what it will be. I want to be here next year for sure. It's not a secret, but it's not in my hand. So let's see what we can do, and for now I focus on doing a great job in these two sessions. One is over, and now we have another one. Finished Giovinazzi. Steiner has spoken about Hass's seat, saying that the driver that will pair Magnussen has to be a skilled one and one with lots of experience. This goes in the favour of Hülkenberg, and according to the German, everyone with a super licence is a candidate for the spot. As he added, Everybody with a super licence is on the list. I think Hülkenberg's a candidate like all the other ones, because he's got a super licence. He's done F1, he has experience. I mean, there is nobody who is racing now that you could get if you wanted to change. We just have to see what is the best decision." Finished Steiner. Now Haas has improved a lot compared to the 2021 season, and although they are in a downfall form in the last races, it's evident that the team made a huge leap from the last two years when they were dead last with zero points. Now they are battling Alpha Tauri for P7 in the Constructors' Championship, and although Schumacher has scored 12 points out of 34 points of the team, which is almost 50% of all points of the team, it's unlikely that he'll keep the seat in the team. According to Steiner, only he and Gene are included in the process of picking up the drivers for the 2023 season. I don't know Gene, I don't have the answer to that one, we just f this one up. Yeah. Doesn't make it right, I know that, you know, saying it up, it doesn't make it right. Just like. Same mistake. It's unbelievable. The two guys putting the wheel on, they were new. Many believe that Mick still had that seat because of the Ferrari Academy and Haas being a Ferrari-affiliated team. 
But now that Ferrari is looking to move away from Mick and his place in the Ferrari Academy, it's unlikely that the German will stay with the team from 2023 and beyond. No, we don't have to wait and see what Ferrari says. We never decide on the driver before the summer break, and we will not do so this year. Obviously, I will start to speak with Gene over the summer break, and then you know how we do it. You will ask again at the next race in Europe, and then we will tell you sometime in the end of September or October what we're doing, and the same will be happening this year, hopefully," said Gunther. The German also spoke about the decisions that are made in the team, amplifying his and Gene's role in the process and saying that Ferrari doesn't have a say in this matter. I don't want to speak about our Ferrari deal, because otherwise, they get upset, said Gunther as a joke. At the end of the day, I don't know the real deal between Ferrari and Mick, and I don't need to know. If he decides to go somewhere else, I cannot change it. Only Gene and I are involved in that process," said Steiner. Mick has been related with multiple seats in F1, such as Alpine, but now that the team has announced the four drivers that will take testing with their car in Hungaring prior to the Singapore GP, it became evident that they aren't thinking of Mick as their next driver. What's even worse for Mick is that he cannot score points, just like Magnussen, to stay in the team for the next season. Steiner gave him a clear message when it comes to staying in F1 score more points. But the car just isn't the same, and when the team started to introduce upgrades, it seemed like they slowed down rather than boosted the performance of the car. But where does Hulkenberg sit in all of this? He's also one of the four drivers along with De Vries, Herter and Duan that will participate in Alpine's testing in Hungaring. Now, if he proves to be the right candidate for Alpine, Haas will have the trouble of finding a driver that has the experience and is willing to drive for a smaller amount of money, unlike Ricardo. On top of that, Hulkenberg does have a history with Alpine, formerly known as Renault, and although the team is looking away from Ricardo's reunion, they might as well look forward to reuniting with Hulkenberg. Nick, that's P3 confirmed, well done. P3 confirmed, well done. Just Mercedes ahead. Yeah! Get in there, racing points. Nice one. The German has not had a seat for three years, but has impressed everyone with his performance in Aston Martin at the beginning of the season. Although it wasn't as good as we've seen from De Vries, Hulkenberg raced in Aston Martin, a car that is less familiar to him and in 2022, with all the new regulations that were taking a full swing on the teams, it was more than evident that even drivers that had experience with the cars they were in struggled a lot. The only question that has to be asked in Haas is whether they would want to pair Magnussen and Hulkenberg in the same team. We know that both of them aren't really best of friends, and that may be a crucial reason why the team won't sign Hulkenberg. So, what do you think will happen next regarding this matter? Do you think that we'll see the return of Hulkenberg in the sport after such a long time? Let us know in the comments below.